I'm currently training to be an anaesthetist. So for the past two and a half years, I've been working in Dublin, but six months ago, I moved to Cork to work in the two hostels down here. Moving into Cork, I kind of knew that I wasn't going to be able to play with my club anymore, but I wanted to keep up playing Gaelic football. It's important to me. I think it's a great outlet to have. And I just love, you know, the team environment that Gaelic football brings. So I wanted to make sure that I kept that up. So I spoke to Kira, who plays with Mornabi, and she said that there's a possibility to transfer to her club down there for the year. So that's how kind of the, the ball got rolling. I'm used to training right beside the M50, 10 minutes away from Dublin city centre, so I suppose the improvement in traffic <laughs> is a nice change. You know, that's what's so unique about getting football, no matter where you go really in the world, there's always a club um, that you can play with and join up with. Morn Abbey is a small parish just outside Mallow. In any really like small rural community, the GA club is kind of like the centre of the community. You know, any evening that you come down here, there's all sorts of training going on from underage all the way up to the senior club. So I think that, you know, even the sheer amount of support that we get for county finals, Munster finals, shows how much it means to the parish. You know, on the day of the All-Ireland Final last year, I don't think there was anyone left in Morn Abbey. And when we came back here with the cup, we had a home coming up in the hall. And I think that like everyone in the parish came out to see us home. So it really does mean a lot. Having Noelle as part of the team this year definitely has added like an extra dimension to our team. You know, she's an excellent athlete and she's an excellent footballer as well. She's a really positive player. So it's great to have someone of that caliber joining the team. just come in and she's been a part of it straight away you know and she's embraced everything that's gone on within the club she's down at training she's watching on she goes to games when she can't play I think she's fitted in nicely with the squad she knew a couple of the girls from all-star tours like that and then a player then of her caliber we weren't going to say no she's been an excellent player since you know since I can remember with Dublin and um, it's just that star quality that she brings to it and I suppose it's adding into an already star-studded team so I suppose I felt a little bit of excitement actually the first time I saw a Dublin team sheet with Morn Abbey beside Noel's name. You know, it was, it was great to see and I suppose, you know, you know, everybody was excited about the move and I think, look, we, we, we know she's playing for Dublin and that she's playing against her own girls and, um, but when I think when, when it all comes together, you know, they, they have that respect for each other and I think it's going to be, it's going to be very exciting anyway. You know, Intercounty brings club rivalries together that you play against. Um, it's the same with college as well. When you're in the pitch, it doesn't really matter. You know, you're, you're representing the jersey that you're wearing. I think the Cork girls play a great standard of football. You know, they'd always be a team that we'd have an awful lot of respect for. And I think, you know, it's great to be able to, to play with players like that and to see what you can learn from them as well. Obviously playing with Morn Abbey has allowed me to be able to continue to play with Dublin. You know, I absolutely love Dublin. I always have that pullback. Look, I'm a dub true and true.